All right, welcome everyone. This is Shadow Drake, and I am. This is going to be a slight IC10 tutorial series, and so why a tutorial series? Well, I guess I'll just give my spin on this thing because uh, one thing that I've known from tutoring people is that uh, people have different methods of learning, and while one person's uh, one person may be able to teach one one a uh, certain set of individuals, uh, they may struggle to teach another. So. And that just kind of comes across with how different people teach in the same way that different people learn. And so, I guess the way I'm, this, since this is an introduction, I'm just going to kind of structure this in short videos going over different functions. I'll try to split up, split them up in kind of like a beginners and an intermediate areas. And that's not to say that these instructions are for absolute beginners or this instructions are for the more advanced. It's more like the beginner instructions are kind of going to be easier to work with. They're probably going to be the basics of what you need. And as you as an individual start programming and making more complicated scripts you'll and build your confidence, you'll be able to hopefully start going into the more intermediate instructions and be able to pick them up a little bit easier. And so that's the whole nature of this. And to just kind of give a brief overview, uh, IC10 MIPS is essentially a programming language. Uh, to best describe it, uh, it is an assembly language. And the best way to kind of describe the history is you have machine language, uh, assembly language, and basically higher 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 level languages which are and like and those are like C plus C sharp and much more. And so to kind of go over briefly a machine language we're it's gonna be kinda of like MIPS except it'll be something like moving bits working with the bits. So like to do a command in the machine language. It could be move, it could be add, it could be something like that. But to move a one, you would have to do everything in binary. Uh, you'll have some very predefined instructions, but pretty much everything may be in binary or hexadecimal, and that's just going to be absolutely abysmal. Uh, since MIPS is an assembly language, it kind of condenses some things and makes to make it easier for us to see. So to do the instruction above, it could be just something like moving to R8, you know, just move one to R8. And you can see that the benefits of that, it is much simpler. And then higher level languages like C Sharp, C Plus, you could just do something similar. Or in all honesty, the the benefits of a higher level language is you can get more complicated commands, comparisons, uh, loops, programs, routines, and such. Uh, MIPS being an assembly language right above machine language, you have to build those loops and routines by hand. And while that's hopefully that doesn't really fill you with trepidation and <laughs> or scare you off, it's not as bad as it seems. And that's what this tutorial series is going to be, helping you to build these, helping you to work with these commands, and just kind of, in general, get familiar with this. Uh, so when we return, we're going to talk about uh, materials we need. All right. Hope to see you then.